Look, Simba. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Those words struck a chord with all of us when we first heard it as kids. Unless you were raised as a Quaker and have no idea what I'm talking about, which is fine, which is fine. The Lion King is iconic to so many of us for so many reasons. The characters, the cheeky, warm banter, ooh, that famous Rafiki Michael Jackson stunt, you know the one that had all the animals hyped, gives me goosebumps to this day, fam. <clears throat> The Lion King is legendary for many reasons. In addition to all that, its unique setting, the vast plains of Africa, gave many of us our first glimpse of what the motherland has to offer. While no particular country was specified by Disney Studios, it's pretty clear the creators clearly sought to capture the magic and wonder of an African savanna and did so perfectly. If you're one of those captivated souls who wish to take in the magic of an African savanna as seen on TV by venturing into Timon and Pumbaa territory, an African safari tour is the best way to scratch that itch. We've got 7 tips and pointers that'll make your safari experience as magical as you've always dreamt it to be. Number 1. Now, I know we were just talking about the Lion King a couple of seconds ago, but this ain't the Lion King folks. You can die, die out there. And ain't no Timon, Pumba, or Rafiki coming to save it behind either. So remember, temper your inner child and hold back the urge you may feel to go wandering away from your group or leaving the camp unassisted. All safari groups are usually headed by a local team who know the area and the mannerisms of the wildlife found in the area. Surrounded by lions, hyenas, and all other sorts of threatening animals, they're your best bet at coming home to tell your stories. In addition to keeping you alive, they can also point you towards areas you need to be focusing your attention. As we mentioned, being keenly aware of the wildlife and their differing characteristics, they know the likes and dislikes of the animals as well as their favorite spots. Who knows, stick with them and you just might be lucky enough to witness a live feeding if you're into that kind of thing. Number two, make sure you take your time to take in any and everything. With all the foreign sights and sounds, it may be a little overwhelming at first. Take a deep breath. There's a lot to see, we know, but take it in bit by bit, piece by piece. Whether it be the gore of a feeding session or the beauty of life being brought into the world via live birth, you never know what you'll get once you enter that magical savanna. With the unexpected at almost every turn, it's your responsibility to tap into your inner Steve Irwin and be astounded at everything when it comes as it comes. Find the magic in everything as our beloved Croc Hunter did and you'll have the time of your life. Number three, it's hot out there boys and girls, it's Africa. Too many times outsiders have underestimated the harsh climate that can be found on the savanna. It's easy to get so enamored with the sights and the sounds that Africa has to offer, but with all that ogling, do not forget to hydrate. There's a lot to see and a lot of mileage to cover, but your skin and your organs should not have to suffer. Sunscreen and water is your bestie. Hydrate your skin and body for optimal ogling, you guys. Number four. We know you came to Africa on vacation. We get it. We know how early you had to get up on a weekday, get the kids ready, make breakfast, you get yourself ready and then you head off to your 9 to 5, you know, as you sit behind a desk, staying at the drywall, hoping the building catches fire, as you simply hope for some deviation to your normal daily routine, not the death of others or the loss of property. We know, pal. You've had it rough at the office. So, the idea of waking up early while on vacation is akin to the thought of forgiving Sky for the evil he brought into our lives as children. But trust me, give it a shot. Besides the possibility of perhaps snapping the greatest early morning insta pic of all time, there are also high chances of spotting wildlife in the morning. That is why this is a must for all safari adventurers. Lions in particular tend to shift in the early morning as they try to beat the day's heat by finding a suitable feeding and resting spot while the cool of the morning still lingers. Sacrifice some Shaddai for some once in a lifetime memories, you won't regret it. Number 5. Pack light and pack smart. Assuming you've done the smart thing and hired a safari service complete with guides, then you no doubt have a base camp. 
As you prepare to head out, it's wise to leave unessentials and carry essentials only. Huge heavy baggage with your coffee pot, cups, 10 pieces of camera attachments and your good luck porcelain doll will only make noise, which will alert animals to your position, which may not be in your best interest. Essentials include sunscreen, chapstick, water, sunglasses, and your handy dandy explorer hat is pretty much all you need. Number six, respect the wildlife. We all fell in love with the lovable and relatable characters in The Lion King. While real lions may not be as friendly and won't have quite the same singing chops as our boy Simba had, that matters not. The very sight of one is sure to leave you in awe of his majesty and power. That level of venom and respect should not be limited to just the king of the jungle, but to all who inhabit that savannah. It's their home, not yours. You do not need to leave your mark. We don't care. Neither do the animals. Visit and respect their space. Be as respectful as you would entering the home of a stranger. If they say take your shoes off, take your shoes off. If you got holes in your socks, that's on you. You should have came prepared. Please be respectful and mindful at all times. And number seven, have fun. As we said, take in all the sights, listen to all the sounds, smell all the smells, as tough as that might be, and feel all the feels. Remember how you first felt watching that cinematic masterpiece. Try to remember how seeing this depiction of the beautiful plains for the first time made you feel and hold that feeling near and dear. As you look out onto its beauty and splendor, you might feel a solitary teardrop leave your eye while you hum Hakuna Matata. Yes, you made it. Those are seven tips to help you get the best out of your African safari experience. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Catch y'all next time. Peace.